welcome back to Daydream Manor Flower Farm. If we're meeting for the first time, I'm Dawn, the owner. This is my third year growing flowers in Zone 8B in South Louisiana. All right, welcome back into the stem shed. Y'all, it has been a um, roller coaster with this weather. So, um, give you a quick update of what's not happening or what is happening, what's not happening on the farm. So, I think the last time that I videoed, it was warm. I swear the next day, it started, it got cold and had like a, like a really drastic drop in temperature. And then it started raining. And for the last week, it's rained and rained and rained and rained some freaking more. Um, and now, it's a brisk 66 degrees, um, high humidity. It's funky outside. And like we say in South Louisiana, don't like the weather wait five minutes because this week it's supposed to be in the 80s so i'm hoping that this week mr daydream can finish getting the raised beds built i still have one done and half of a second one done so it's not been good um all of my seedlings are still sitting on the back porch they don't know if it's winter they don't know if it's summer they don't know if it's spring so my bloom season is probably going to be really interesting uh, my vegetables are still sitting back there because where I'm going to plant in the old flower field, it is such a muddy freaking mess. Um, it is like gumbo mud. You walk in it in your boot sticks and you walk out of your boot. So I don't know. Um, I'm hopefully it'll dry up enough that I can at least try to get something into the ground. Um, yeah, it just sucks right now. So, you know, again, hindsight's always 2020, right? Like, well, if we would have started these back in July or August, well, well we didn't. So, um, just trying to get some of that figured out. Um, I had said I was going to do, like, my tulips, like, late December. Definitely going to push those back to January. Um, they are in the refrigerator cooling, but, I, you know, I don't have a lot of hope for them. I honestly don't. Um, this weather is just too bizarre, and... I don't think I'm going to have a cold, long, cold enough season, uh, spell for them. So, we'll see. Um, oh, the other thing goes back to writing crap down. Um, I start getting my ranunculus combs because I do uh, pre-sprout them. So, I put them in a bucket of water and I use a, um aquarium pump to uh, circulate, circulate some oxygen in the water. And I'm like, wait a minute. Where are my anemones corms? So I go and look. All I have is the ones from last year. I didn't, I'm like freaking out because I'm like, oh my God, I didn't order any new ones. Where? What? Okay. And then I'm like, well, where can I get some now? And it's kind of late. And then I was like, well, I guess we're not going to have any. And then I get an email. Your order is on its way. I forgot I had ordered some. Because again, I didn't write it down. Um... <laughs> That has got you change. Like, you know when you know you don't do something like you should be doing it, and then you keep telling yourself and you still don't get it to have its strength? <laughs> That's me right now. So, trying to get that done. Um, the week of Thanksgiving, I did start another round of um, cool season flowers. That is a good thing about being in Zone 8B. Um, I usually start them August, September. This year, I think it was more like October, um, maybe some in November. And then, oh, let me show you what they look like. Let me show you one I'm particularly proud of. We all know my saga with straw flowers. First year, bada boom, bada bang, they were on it. Year two and year three. These I started... Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is like 95% germination. Um, this is soil blocking. And so this is 100 seedlings right here in this tray. Let me see. The tray is what it looks like. Um, yeah, like 95%. I don't want to jinx these. But so the other ones that I do look just like this. So Y'all, I'll be so happy. Y'all, I love straw flowers. I've just not had a good experience with them. Even the first year when I had great germination and they bloomed and I got a lot. I mean, I had um, I, some type of fungus went through them. 
and I really thought it was because of the row that I had them on <clears throat> just before we trenched out the back of the flower field. I thought it was because it was holding too much water, and it still may be. I don't know. I mean, I was very new to this, so um, yeah, I'm kind of excited about these. Yay! <clears throat> So I did, <clears throat> I did get those started. <clears throat> I got some more stock. Um, I got some more yarrow, some more snaps. Oh, which leads me to, <clears throat> I was looking for some artichoke seeds because I want to dry some pods <clears throat> next year. And I don't know, I found the seed place. And y'all, I ordered these and I am, their seed packaging is precious. And so these are um, Rembrandt Snapdragons. But look at this packaging. Y'all, isn't that so pretty? This is um, Hudson Valley Seed Company. I've never ordered from them before. Um, this is 250 seeds in the packet. So I'm going to try them. I mean, if you've ordered from them and you've um, and you've used them, let me know what the germination rate, what your experience was. So I just thought the packaging was just so pretty. I mean, it's a pretty awesome. So I am got those in. I want to get those started. Um, I need to get some baby's breath started. I had not done that yet and i felt like there was some, oh and i have some more eucalyptus that i need to get started so those i'm going to work on this week i'm really hoping um that by the 15th of the month that's going to be my last day at work work and i'm going to take vacation for the rest of the year so get some things uh done i do like this time of year on the farm though truthfully um because it is time to get some of the maintenance stuff done the things i don't have time to work on in the spring it's also given me some time to really give some thought to my other venture that I have going on, um, the Manor Mercantile. So, uh, if you, I don't even know if I've talked about it. I think I have. Um, my, I felt like my Instagram feed was getting very congested with very different messaging. And so, I want to get my Daydream Manor Flower Farm um back to just flowers and i want to be able to use the things that i am creating uh and selling like my leaf of sponges um my vegetable starters my concrete creations all of those things i put those into the manor mercantile so i went ahead and started a new instagram for it um i on my website i now have a dedicated space for the manor mercantile on it um that i'm going to put everything for sale there so i just want to do a little bit better separation and this is a great time of year to do this because i'm not busy with spring flowers and um subscriptions so i'm trying to get some uh inventory up but this is the crazy thing so i started my concrete creations because of two things um one i again looking for another revenue stream that could blend in with what i'm doing and I also had these succulents. And let me show you my succulents. Hold on. Y'all look at these. Are those fine? Um, so the those are... Uh, some of those I've sourced, some of those I've grown. Um, I've have, I, have set, I have a lot pro, uh, propagated right now. Hopefully once we get a greenhouse, I'll have a whole section on just those. But I wanted some cute little vases for those. And I couldn't find what I wanted. And sometimes succulents are really tiny. And so I wanted to be able to do some of those. So kind of started looking around and I found, um, I stumbled across these molds and people doing these actually they make candles out of this size but these are concrete molds look at that and that color pretty um and so i started making some of those and offering um a succulent with that for sale makes cute teacher gifts um office gifts because succulents do well in artificial light so started offering those well long story short i couldn't find the tray i wanted to go under those to capture the water went down a rabbit hole and found this mold these oval trays and then from there that led to something else y'all know how this goes y'all know where i'm going with this anyway um people were making these and using them as trinket trays or valet trays you know which put glasses on wallet keys whatever soaps and our candles and i wanted to be able to do 
for instance, let me grab one that's done. So this is one that's done. Oh, they just happen to match. So this sits inside of here where you could have a succulent um, or a candle. I'm not into candle making yet. I'd love to learn. Um, I think it's intriguing. And then um, I have something else that I'm going to make also here. But to put the, the um, succulent on, so like that. And so I started selling those. Well, when I posted these, I've had people reach out and say, oh my gosh, can you do X, this many, this many, and this many um, for Christmas gifts? And so people, especially in offices and that, so I've been making those. But look how cute they look. Um, like this is a custom handmade. Isn't that cool? So different colors, different um, techniques. So these are up here curing. So right now, because I don't have... <laughs> Because I don't have seedlings on this shelf, it is now my concrete curing shelf. So that won't work in the spring. Um, now, if I do get my greenhouse built, it will work because all of this will be in the greenhouse and I'll have new shelving. But for right now, it's just what it is. So I'm going to get those done. But I wanted to show you all just to show, I know, so not flower related, but it's really kind of cool. So this is the mold. These I did yesterday. And then... You peel them off. Oh, here's the other thing. Oh, my God. So, a farming over 50 thing. Um, you never know what it's going to look like. Oh, I like that one. So, then I sand all of this off, and um, I seal it. And I finish the bottom, and I package them up. Yeah, I like that. It's got like greens and browns in it, um, copper, so... I don't know if you can see what this light. All right. Put it up here so it can cure. Um, here's my new element. So, for instance, this is one of the molds that I use. And you have to pull these down like this to get the concrete out. Y'all, the pain that shoots through here and here. Like, I don't think it's corporal tunnel because it's not down in here, but it is right here. So, eh, who knows? Probably arthritis. So, yeah, a little forming over. 50 ailment <clears throat> which sucks so um those i'm trying to get some of those done this month um and i'm thinking about spring like what i want spring to look like especially the succulents with matching vases so a lot of cool stuff the other thing i'm going to do today though i said i was going to do earlier in the earlier in the year and i just again screwed that up um I want to make some ornaments. Like I have these dried flowers. And I have more up I have more in stored up in the attic. Um, but I want it out of the out of the direct sunlight. But I'm um but these I hadn't put up yet. So I just want to make a few of these uh little ornaments. I also have the round ones. And y'all these just came from local craft store. You know, when they're on sale, I'll buy them full price. And so, not going to give a whole lot of thought. This is the Gumfrina from the summer that's dried. This is the white, and it I love the color that it dries. It dries this um, natural looking. So, look, I'm literally just popping this off. It would probably be so much better if I used scissors. Y'all, in this place is... I mean, I'm just out of space in here. That's the other thing. Mr. Daydream was in here last night, and he's like, because this was never intended to be a full-fledged shop, growing flowers, doing concrete, none of that. This is our storage. This is one piece of his workshop. Um, it is a 30 by 50 long building, and there are different bays. This one over here still has stuff that should be in the attic of my house, but that's a whole other story. Um... So I'm trying to make do with what I have. So he was in here last night. In fact, this is the light I'm using when it gets dark. I have one that's over here, but it's not enough. So, yeah, it's just not enough time in the day. So, yeah, see, this is all I'm doing. And then I have these purple ones. So I don't know. I just want something for my tree. And then I'm going to tie. And then once I do it, I'm going to tie the top. So I was playing around with it. So something like this. And then I'm just going to put a piece of jute on it. And I'm going to make these for my Christmas tree. 
yes it is up um so i'm gonna work on that today and do a few other things but that's really all that's happening around the farm so you know who knows by the time i make the next video hopefully hopefully okay let's let me just put it out there when i video again next week i will have three beds three done three built two planted all right we're gonna put it out in the universe we'll see what happens <laughs> all right so well i've taken up enough time with y'all's today i hope you have a fantastic day and a lovely week hope you're productive um if that's what you want to do um or if you just feel like chilling out on the couch that too all right until we meet again my friends i hope you're turning all your daydreams into a reality